That was Blunt Still Burns by Jenny Piccolo, off of their split EP with asterisk dog, Dogma 3, the morphology of Heavenly Poultry. This is the last song off of this EP from Jenny Piccolo that we have to listen to. So we've covered the entire EP now, uh, and I like it. Good stuff. Of course we're listening to that today because we have an asterisk song from the very same EP up in competition today. Hi, my name is Bean, and you're watching Battle of the Band. We're on day 29 of the Asterisk Tournament today, and that is match 4 in round 3. So that's the halfway point of round 3. We, know, we now know nearly half of our quarterfinalists. Um, if you're new here and you're wondering what the Asterisk Tournament is, let me fill you in. We took every single song that Swedish grindcore band Asterisk released in, in their short time as a band, and we threw them into a single elimination style tournament. And now they're doing battle and head-to-head -head competition until we have one remaining in the end, and that's the very best song that Asterisk has released. Today, we're starting off with, I think, the longest track they released, and that is An Angel Collapsing, which is off of the Dogma 3 EP we just listened to the Jenny Piccolo song from. Um, this one features Marhog, uh, just doing kind of like ambient noise on there. Last round, it defeated The Anomaly, which was a hidden track off of Dogma 1, Death of a Dramologist, and uh, it got a buy through the first round. Its competition today also got a buy through the first round, and that is Asterisk and Obelisk. Asterisk and Obelisk released on Dogma 1, Death of a Dramologist, released in the year 2000. Its competition in the first round was Asterisk Symbol. It was just the Asterisk Symbol. There's no words to it. Don't spell it out. It's a symbol. <laughs> and uh, like I said, it got a buy through the first round. But let's go ahead and get into it and see which song's better. Do we like the one with a lot of ambient noise? Or do I need just a minute of content? Here's an angel collapsing. Reminds me of the locust.
All right. I uh, really like the ambience in that one. Uh, it's not really characteristic of the band asterisk, though, so it does kind of count against it in that it artificially lengthens a song that doesn't need it, being grindcore. However, it is a cool dynamic to add into an album when you're, when you're listening to a song full of grindcore. Like, a really cool break like that is nice. So I think in the context of an album, it's really great. I don't know about in the context of a tournament of asterisk songs, though. Let's see how it stands up with Asterisk and Obelisk. And that's really good, just straight up grindcore. It had more interesting vocals, more interesting guitars on it. Uh, the overall build to the middle of the song I really enjoyed a lot more. I'm going to give that one to Asterisk and Obelisk. I really appreciate An Angel Collapsing for what it is, and in the album context, it's perfect and great. But, you know, they're really leaning on Marhog's electronics on that one. I'll say that much. Like this video if you like this video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share with anyone you know who might be into this kind of content, and let me know down in the comments which of these two songs you would have chosen if it were you in the hot seat today. That's all the asterisk action we've got for the day, and that's the rest of the music tournament action for the day, too, so come on back now, you hear? <laughs> I hope you all have a great night, fantastic afternoon, and a wonderful morning. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.